Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to be repurposing this old noisy Dell server chassis into a Proxmox backup server for my home lab. So let's get to it. This is a Dell PowerEdge 2950 that I've got. This server was manufactured in 2007 and it's got a whopping 4 cores and 32 gigs of ECC RAM. I keep my server rack in my basement and I can hear it upstairs through the floor. That's how loud it is. I tried using a fan speed controller to reduce the noise, but then the server ran into overheating issues. I also tried swapping out the fans altogether with quieter fans, but they didn't seem to move enough air, so that didn't really work either. I ultimately stuck the server in a corner and gave up. One day I was messing around with the riser and daughter cards that came out of the 2950. I was unable to get any of the risers to do anything with the board I was testing but I did manage to boot my test PC with the RAID card that came out of the 2950. I realized the ATX style power connector that was on the backplane wasn't a true ATX connector. After some probing, I found out that the wiring was different on this connector. I couldn't find much information online about the pinout, but after some digging, I was able to identify the voltages that the backplane was going to require. I took the front panel apart so I could fill the holes and repaint this. And to do this, I had to drill out all the rivets. Once I got the panel off, I placed tape over the holes and filled the backside with Bondo and let it set. After it hardened, I took some sandpaper and wet sanded the panel to create a smooth surface. For mounting the boards in the chassis, I used some brass standoffs that were screwed into the bottom. I used a punch to mark where the holes were going to go and then drilled the holes with a 332nd drill bit or for all you didn't land on the moon countries a two and a half millimeter drill bit. I then placed a small drop of used motor oil into the hole. I then ran an M3 tap into the hole, backing it out a half turn every full turn to ensure a clean cut. I wiped down any excess oil and screwed in all the standoffs with a small amount of Loctite to ensure it didn't back out. And since the standoffs were longer than the sheet metal was thick, I then used an angle grinder to knock the excess off. To clean the bottom of the chassis, I used 150 proof water to wipe down the surface and remove any leftover oils. Since I cut the back panel of the chassis out, I'll need to make a new panel. I used a piece of sheet metal I had cut to size and I ended up only using a single fan on the rear panel to pull heat out. To mount the panel components, I drilled out two square holes one for data and one for power. Then I placed a few tacks on the rear panel to secure it before making my final welds. To save the world from having to look at my welds, I sprayed a nice eggshell coat of black on the rear panel. I then began installing the boards on the chassis and the connectors on the rear panel. Thank you. 
To help clean up some of the wiring, I placed plastic loom on the wires and used a generous amount of electrical tape to keep everything tidy. Quick test boot ensures I didn't mess anything up and I began to reassemble the front panel complete with branding. To reattach the front panel, I used rivets to hold everything together. I then put all the drives back in and set up my RAID array. After setting up the RAID array for my six 1TB drives, I then set up Proxmox backup server. This integrates nicely into my existing Proxmox home lab setup and allows for easy backups off of my existing hosts. Overall, this was a great example of repurposing existing hardware to fill a need. And if you like this video, be sure to leave a like. <laughs> you know, if you like that video, you should subscribe to my channel. You too.